Hey everybody, it's Tyler from Bicycle to Work. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about biking to work when your work doesn't have a shower. Like how do you freshen up? How do you clean up so you're not a sweaty mess when you're working all day? Nobody wants to be the stinky person in the office. So here's some tips on what to do when you're biking to work and there's no shower to shower in. This one sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually not. You should take a shower before your bike commute. BO occurs when it's old sweat and bacteria on the skin of your body. And so taking a quick shower rinses that all off. So even if you ride into work and you sweat, you'll be less likely to be stinky if you took a shower beforehand. This one should be a no brainer, but put on deodorant when you get to work. I've heard some horror stories of people who don't think they need deodorant after they've ridden into work. And you're just gonna be, you're gonna be the talk of the water cooler, let me tell you that. We're not animals, freshen up. It can also be helpful to pack some clothes and bring them with you. Put them in your paneer or your bag, actually bike to work, and then once you get there, you have some fresh clothes that aren't sweaty that you can now wear at work. Nobody wants to be stinky at work, so it's easy. Get a wet rag just like this, voila, 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 and then just wipe down all the areas that you're sweaty, your neck, your pits, your head, you know, I don't know, if your knees sweaty, wipe those things off. A wet rag does wonders at preventing you from smelling when you're at work. Another option is just to keep some wet wipes at work. I like these ones because they're good for the environment, apparently, or they're plant-based, you know, so they'll break down. And uh, yeah, just leave them in your desk, pull them out. Whoa, that's, there you go. And you got your little wipe, and then you can just kind of wipe all the little sweat off of your pits or your arms or wherever you're nice and sweaty, and then you can toss it away. When you're thinking about what you're gonna wear on your bike commute, dress in lighter clothing if it's not too cold. You'll sweat less and be able to breathe a little bit more. Another tip to not sweating when you're getting to work if you don't have a shower is just to take it easy. Take it easy, guys. You're not in the Tour de France. You're not in a race. If you're not in a hurry to get to work because you showed up on time or you left early enough in time, then just, just chill. Go slow. Don't wear a backpack. It's just not worth it. Your back's gonna get so sweaty. This one's not for everybody, but if there's a local gym close, you could always join the gym and probably get a shower there. That would work, that would get you nice and clean. But yeah, you gotta have a gym, you know, next to your work. Drink water before, during, and after the ride. It'll totally help. What water does is it helps flush out toxins that can cause body odor. So if you're well hydrated, your body will continue to sweat, but less toxins means that you'll smell less. In addition, if you're drinking lots of water, it'll help regulate your body uh, to keep you nice and cool. Choose the right route. It might take you a little bit longer to get there, but if you choose a route without any hills, you're less likely to be sweaty. You're also gonna need to figure out your hair because when you take this bad boy off, you can be a little crazy, you know, not too crazy, but some dry shampoo can help get out any sweat or grease. Also, I'd bring a comb or something just to kind of straighten it out. All right, everybody, that's my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you start biking to work and give it a shot. It's not that bad, even if you don't have a shower, use some of these tips. Remember to subscribe if you want some more bike commuting videos coming your way. Peace.